Hello, I'm Graham Lewis, and in this video we're going to look at how to draw some graphs in Fathom. We'll look at inputting the data from an Excel file, and we'll draw some histograms, box plots, and a scatter plot. So firstly, here's my Excel file. Now, it's important to note that this Excel file is not real data. It's from the UK Ed Excel board, um, and it was used for um, coursework. So it's not real data, um, but it's very good data to play around with. So the first thing to do is to look at what columns and rows you want to input. Now, I don't want to input all of this. So I only want to input the average number of hours TV watched, IQ, height in meters, and weight in kilograms. <clears throat> so those four columns. I'm not going to do all the other four columns. Now, make sure you like all of the titles. So if I click into average hours here, it says average hours, average number of hours TV, and it's not really finished that sentence. So I'm going to make that nice. So average hours of TV watched. <clears throat> and it will be in a week. Now it's important to make sure you're happy with the title because the beautiful thing about Fathom is that when you copy the title into Fathom, it will automatically come up with a graph with the title on the axes and everything. So it'll be really nice, unlike Excel, where you have more work to do. So that's one of the reasons I really like Fathom. So now let's copy the data into Fathom. So you highlight the columns you want, <coughs> or you can highlight all of the data. It's up to you. Um, so highlighting the columns, O, P, Q, and R, right click, and I'm going to Control C, and now I'm going to go into Fathom. Now here's Fathom. It's a great statistical software, and it's a drag and drop. So I want you to now, um, about to pause the video, but not quite yet, I want you to hover over the collection, left click and you'll hold down your left mouse key and then using the mouse drag a collection and then drop it um, so i want to pause the video now and i want you to actually drag down a collection okay once you've got a collection we're going to fill it up with our data so we copied our data from excel so right click and paste cases so pause the video now and I want you to right click and paste cases and you'll see your collection is full. Okay, once you've got your collection full of your data, you always have to remember to bring down a table. Now, sometimes you might bring down a table and it might be blank like that. The reason it's blank like that is that I hadn't highlighted which collection I wanted the table for. So you, I'm going to delete that by just hitting the delete key. And I'm going to make sure I've highlighted by left clicking and my collection is highlighted. Then bring down a table, and you can see that um, you have your four columns there. Average hours of TV watched, IQ, height in meters, weight in kilograms, which is lovely. So next, pull down a graph. Okay, I want you to pause the video now, and I just want you to pull down a table and pull down a graph. Okay, so moving on, what we've got here is a drag and drop situation. So, for example, if I want to know the heights, I can put a draw graphs of heights. You drag the column title, not the actual numbers, the column title, and drop it not into the middle, not onto the vertical axis, but onto the horizontal axis there. And it's drawn me a dot plot. So now if I want a histogram, I can make it a histogram. Notice that Fathom automatically gives you a lovely number of bars in there, which is really nice. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bars. And that comes within the, the, the ideal number, 8 to 15, which is considered statistically good to have 8 to 15 bars when you draw a histogram. Now you can also draw a box plot and you can also draw other things as well. The ones that we will be most interested in are the histogram and the box plot. And then you can copy that into your OneNote or Word document, whatever you want, um, as a picture, as a screen picture. And then you just need to put the title above. So that's lovely. So now what if I want to draw a scatter plot? Well, to draw a scatter plot, say we wanted to use somebody's height to predict their weight, you just need to grab the weight and put it on the vertical axis. And there we've got a scatter plot <coughs> of height against weight. And I think we can see there that there is uh, quite a lot of scatter 
but I am seeing parallel train tracks uh, going up. Um, so I think I am seeing their uh, linear, linear relationship. Okay, so that's it, folks. That's how to draw a um, scatter plot, box plot, and histogram in Fathom. Now, the beautiful thing is you can just pull down other graphs and draw other ones and copy them into your OneNote, and it's very quick and easy. So uh, please rewatch the video, try it yourself, and uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Have a great day, everyone.